So we come to the first move of uh, the eight moves Qigong sequence. Um, basically with the yogic Pilates hypnotic principles within it, within the breathing. Um, again, this one's called, again, it's got a few different names. It's from the eight brocades and we're doing the eight brocades. This is the first move. Um, I've called hands lifting to heaven, it's called or a mortal looks to the heavens. It's a real basic motion to start off with. But again, we're gonna go more specifically on the breathing with it, not the traditional breathing into the belly locker balloon. We're gonna go down the yogic principle down with the yogic principles there and the Pilates principles with the hypnotic breathing all in there. So with that, we're gonna go straight in on this one. Um, so this one's how believed how the triple heat is just like the immune system uh, uh, meridian in the body or the electromagnetic river that all these moves are linked to within the traditional form but we're not going down that path we're going down just with the movement because such a good motion all these are all good motions um, so it's a nice simple motion to start off with zip up pelvic floor scoop out your abdominals we're putting the Pilates set up the opposite of the traditional form and that's going to help us naturally breathe into these lower loads of the lungs. So we start with that. We're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbones. We're going to breathe in through the nose. And exhale through pursed lips. Now, as you can see, my fingers are here on the xiphoid process, just underneath the sternum. And you'll find the two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. Just adding width to the lungs and length of the out breath. So basically by that, that, by that I mean even, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that'll help you breathe anywhere but the belly button, opposite to the traditional way, because that's more meditative breath. So with this, we're gonna throw on our corset muscle, three layers deep, the girdle of strength, the powerhouse, the transverse abdominus, it's called that muscle, it wraps around the spine, the lumbar thoracofascia, Again, you'd have to know these names, but that's like a corset. As soon as we zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, with the Pilates principles, that's, that protects the spine, okay? And that helps us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, these fish gills, 3D stars. So as you do that now, keep doing that now. As I talk, we're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. You'll see that 3D breath going organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, so much though the two middle fingers slightly part and come back to touch each other. Okay, just moving like seaweed on the bottom of the seabed to the sides and back. Just adding width to the lungs and length for the out breath. That lovely, free, expansive breath. Now, unlike the Pilates breath, we're gonna close the mouth and do it more like yogic breath. There's many yogic breaths, but again, we're gonna breathe in and out through the nose because of that smaller filter through the nose that's gonna lengthen the breath. Like what you get in a lot of the asanas, we lengthen the breath to edge into the, them postures. Okay, so that's gonna help us lengthen the breath, especially the out breath. We're naturally gonna fall longer than the in breath, so allow that to happen. Okay, so that smaller filter of the nose helps us lengthen the breath, helps us get into these movements easier in a more natural, relaxed manner, but also that out breath as it falls longer than the in breath right now, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. That will bring in all the subconscious benefits in the body, all the things you don't think about. Cellular communication, organ communication, renewal, stuff like that, what always happens in the body, the housekeeping properties of the body, all being benefited in a cellular way there, okay? So again, sleep, digestion, rest, relaxation also, all benefited. As you do that right now, as you elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, and allow that simplicity just to relax the mind. As you're also zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, taking the navels towards the spine, Breathing in through the nose and exhaling through the nose. That smaller filter through the nose 
helps us lengthen the breath. Now, as you consciously become aware of that and elongate that out breath, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like, within your limits, don't force anything. You elongate that out breath, longer than the in breath. You'll feel them parasympathetic nervous system responses in a beneficial way. Okay, as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now, and just simply elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, breathe in the breath. So consciously become aware of elongating that out breath as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now. Eventually, the breath will breathe you, and you'll naturally elongate the out breath in that rhythm. Okay, again, allowing that simplicity to relax the mind. Now you can stick with that when we calibrate and synchronize it with this simple motion. Okay, but again, if you're gonna take it on to make it slightly more advanced yogic breath, ujjayi breath, and you grip at the esophagus, okay, we narrow the esophagus, and it'll make a different sound. If you can't get it, don't worry, just carry on breathing in as you are now. But if you wanna take it on a little bit further, you can try it, grip at the esophagus, and it sort of like makes this the fader breath, sighing, whistling, silky breath as you breathe in. And exhale. That soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay. Again, that will stimulate the nervous system in a different way. And that gives the mind something to focus on. So as you do that now, I'm going to demonstrate it a few times. It's a zip up pelvic floor still, scoop out your abdominals, breathing in. Lovely, smooth, whistling, silky breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Okay, lovely. Now again, that will help us lengthen the breath even longer, give the mind something to focus on within the forms. Okay, nice focusing breath, and help stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. All the benefits as you elongate the breath on that out breath also, with that ujjayi breath, it will help you fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body, help us build the heat in the body, fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. But again, if you can't get that, don't worry. That seashore breathing, a bit like the seashore breath. If you think of the seashore, you know, that sort of breath coming in and coming out. We're just letting go longer with that out breath also, okay? So again, that will lengthen the whole breath, especially the out breath longer. If you can't get that, don't worry. Just stick to the breathing we'll be doing. Okay, lovely ujjayi breath there. So again, it's a nice basic motion. Again, all it is coming up, we're just calibrating and synchronize that to motion. Breathing coming up, and as it gets near the crown, we're exhaling up. Now you push away the wall Samson style for that stretch, your little pinkies, little fingers, and we descend down, and coming down. And again, it's the same, we clasp the hands here, we turn the hands, we get to here, and we exhale. Okay, push away the wall, Samson style, slowly down. Nice simple motion. That put the shoulder blades in the right position. Any problems with sort of the upper traps, because they're overactive in a lot of us, 90% of us, they want to take over. So this is just put them into that nice position. And on the shoulder blades, you just slide like magnets, slide around the fridge, just to accommodate that, accommodate that movement just enough. Okay, this is sometimes we over hitch the shoulders, etc. In everyday life, this is not negate that. Give us that shoulder girdle awareness. So we're gonna breathe in, come up. And exhale down, push away the wall, Samson style for that stretch. Little pinkies, little fingers. Again, breathing in, coming up. And we're gonna exhale, we're gonna extend the motion on the exhale. Coming down, so this will be a little bit sharper. Let me exhale. Lo 
lovely. So again, nice basic motion. Again, as with all Qigong postures, if you do want to go in deeper and bring the legs in, you can do. But again, breathing in, going in deeper, coming down, descending down. I would personally go no further. Then knees and line my toes. Keep the eye, I'm keeping the eye yoga principles. Obviously, there's all different schools of thought. Um, but again, I'd say go no lower than knees and line my toes. If you're bringing a squat in and then tailbone deep, you're going to go deeper, but no lower than knees and line my toes. But again, if you're on the side of safety, um, if you're going to go deeper, you can go deeper. But just be aware of any injuries, just uh, be aware of that. Um, again, nice simple motion won't cause any problems anyway. And just simply calibrate and synchronize that breath to the motion. Integrate the breath with the movement. Don't get caught too caught up. Because we're, yeah, we're messing around with a uh, traditional form. Again, that is just motion, it's just movement. Again, you can do, it's just movement, you can do what you like with it. Again, you'll get the benefits in every single organ cell, singular body. Um, again, I know there's specific motions, help specific organs, but that breath will affect everything on a cellular level um, internally and will help the internal alchemy of the body, the rhythm of the body, vibrationally in a beneficial way, just by breathing a little bit of calibrated and synchronized motion. So don't get too caught up in that, it's sort of like mind candy. And just, again, the feeling is the proof at the end, the way you feel after that breath. And it's a nice one, that, because it opens out the chest. We tend to spend a lot of time compressed against gravity. So again, it's always nice to open out that chest all your organs in the chest, the heart, the lungs, the pericardium, the heart lining, all being benefited by opening up that chest. All them organs in the chest, lovely. So, got the next one, which is two hands lift to raise the condition of the stomach and the spleen. But that was number one. Bang.